<laughs> Alright guys, just wrapped up a shave video, so I figured I'd go ahead and give us a, a, a how to uh, tame this beast with uh, got to be glued. So do I prefer wax? Yes. I get more control, longer hold. The only issue with the wax is it tends to pull hairs when I'm applying it, no matter how wet I get it. I barely touch it and it'll tug them out. I don't have a plethora, oh guapo, a plethora of hairs. So when I lose a three inch hair, I get nervous. Uh, what happens is got to be glue will let me do at least one full curl, hold it all day long, won't pull out the hairs, and it looks halfway decent. Again, not as good as wax, but for day to day, definitely prefer that because that way I don't lose hairs because they are very uh, important to me because I have so few. So with that being said, let's walk through this and see what happens. First thing, wet the whiskers. dry and this is where it's going to get loud so I'll dry them I'll use my fancy uh, curling comb to get them where I want the whiskers just for general purposes and then I'll apply the uh, got to be glued I don't know so I'll see if I can uh, mute this down so it's probably gonna be loud So what I use is I use a warm heat, low um, force to get it where it's going. Now I have extremely thick, extremely coarse hair and it doesn't want to stay straight. Some guys have that fine hair that goes straight that you can just do magic with. Not so good on my course. So what I'll do is I'll take a little got to be glued. I know it's very trendy, very popular. And take just a tiny bit, right? Rub it together on these two fingers, hit my thumbs, gets a little tacky. Once I start feeling a little tack, I'll work it in gently, gently, try to get to start taking shape. So depending, see, I lost one there. Sad day for me again. No matter what happens, I'm going to lose some. But if I can limit it, that's better. So depending on the shape, I can use my finger. Or if I'm going big, I take an empty pill bottle, wrap it, and dry it. Um, today, going out shopping with the wife, might as well go and tight curl it. So she doesn't get all looked at by a weird, thinking I'm a weirdo. So what I'll do is I'll get it going. Wrap it around my finger. Get a little, little bit of water, just, just enough to get it pliable again. And then I'll get the hair dryer and dry it in place.
Cubs. I'll, I'll get it in place. Gives it a semi-natural look. Um, still got some wild ones, but it's a mustache. Deal with it. Um, and then once I get it in place, get it started to set up, I'll hit it with a cool blast. And then we'll go from there. That way the ends are tight. The middle's a little wild, but it looks fuller for me. So I'll do the same thing to the other side. I mean, like half a piece on it, right? Just, just a tiny about. That looks really good on camera, by the way. So we'll work it in. Give it a little twist. All right, it's starting to get tacky. It's real quick and great I got one crazy one off to refix later but real quick get you in there get you going um, semi natural of course everybody has one side that does something totally different than the other side but it happens but there you guys go um, hopefully it helps if you've got core coarse dense hair like I do just a light amount a little bit of hair dryer little heat cool it set it um, less is more with this stuff and then hopefully you can maintain your whiskers and keep them in place like I do Stay safe, everybody.